Hi, I'm Corey Pieper and I am the owner of Go Beyond Physical Therapy. And my topic today is lunges. So lunges are one of my favorite exercises. Uh, they give you benefit for strength in the glutes, the quads, ankle mobility, hip mobility. Uh, they are functional because in order to get down on the ground, you can do a lunge to pick things up. Um, they provide great core stability, so it's a very well-rounded exercise. However, it is probably one of the most commonly done incorrectly. So I'm going to show you a proper form for a lunge, and then I will show you how people do it wrong. Okay, so the most important thing to get into is a nice wide stance. And you'll notice I'm just going to do kind of a static lunge, stationary lunge, or split squat, whatever you want to call it. Um, nice big stance, your trunk, you want to have kind of like a pelvic tilt under. So if you're like this, you're not engaging your core at all. So you're going to kind of tuck under. So you should feel those abs engage the back leg. You want to feel those glutes on. Okay. And as you drop down, you'll notice that my trunk stays nice and upright. My knee is not going past my toes. My back leg is pretty vertical there. And that's where you might even feel a little stretch into the hip flexors on the front should definitely feel your, your um, quads involved. You should feel your glutes engaged, okay? So you're just dropping down and coming up. With the knee in the front, a lot of people end up uh, feeling knee pain, and one of the reasons is sliding too far forward. So again, if you do this setup properly where you feel your glutes involved, your abs involved, and you just drop down, your knee will not go too far forward. It should be more the back leg working with this. I am a big fan of just these static lunges because when people start to do more movement lunges, that, that movement is, is often too much in that forward direction and that's where we can put a lot of stress on that front knee. So again, just kind of tilting back and up and down. You want to make these harder, you do more reps, you do weights in your hands. So there are, are variations to these, but if you can master just the up and down vertical uh, movement, then maybe you can consider more dynamic lunges with it. So again, one of the most common things that people do wrong is lunging too far forward or taking a very small step, especially if you're recovering from an injury, you have a tendency to kind of want to keep everything close and it feels safer. So if I, so watch what happens if I do a very, very narrow stance. See what angle happens here? It doesn't even feel good on my knees. This one is, is okay, but this one, eek, doesn't feel good. Then if I open my stance up a little bit, again, I can go down and that thigh is more vertical. Um, that's probably the most common couple of ways that people do it wrong. Again, if you're not engaging the core and you're more arched here, or if you have very tight hip flexors or quads on this side, you might end up kind of like this as you come down. See this angle here, you need a little bit more flexibility in the hip to maintain that upright position or the strength in your core. So if that is you, if you have a very tight quad or hip flexor, what you'll want to do is just, you know, little baby pulses until you can improve that. And if you think about a hip flexor stretch, you're right here in that position anyway. So you can probably do that to prep yourself to be able to do this exercise better.